SimWorld presents Around the Table with E and the Fat Man. What's up, everybody? It's me, it's me, it's the B.O.B., and I have a special guest host today on Around the Table, and it is B-Ron. How are you doing today, B-Ron? Hey, I am doing good, man. Doing good, feeling good. It's good to be here on the podcast feeling with you Feeling good, guys. feeling great. Mm. Absolutely. I wish he was here, but you know what? It is all good, man. Happy yeah. to be here with you all the same. Yeah, well, everybody, this is Around the Table. This is where me and B-Ron are going to talk a little bit. Actually, today we're going to talk a little bit about everything. We have the NBA season just started. We're about a third of the way through the NFL season. College football is about halfway over or so. And then baseball playoffs. Uh, it, it, there's some interesting things happening there. So uh, Absolutely. Let's, let's start with the, the NBA season just started. It, it, I know it's kind of hard to come up with some uh, – predictions based on i don't know two games maybe but are there <laughs> yeah. any teams at this point that have surprised you either good or bad uh the wizards <laughs> okay <laughs> uh so so for those who don't know I, I the wizards are my favorite team they're the closest team to me since where i am doesn't have a, a team anymore um so i root for the wizards first and foremost so the fact that they're two and right now surprises me um the fact that LeBron is still playing in his, like, 18,000 NBA season is also <laughs> surprising to me, too. But, you know, he's just a freak, a freak, a freak, a freak nature, man. Yeah. Uh, for me, I, I, have to, I have to go with the Pelicans for right now. And it's not even for the fact that they have Zion back because he, well, he, looks, he looks back. But he's, like, the third best player on their team right now. Uh, Valanchunas has actually started off pretty hot this season, so I'll be I'll be excited to see what the Pelicans can do and if they can make any kind of noise in the postseason. But outside of like things that have surprised you, good. Are there any Are there any things that bad in the NBA season so far that you have noticed? I mean, not a whole lot. I guess the one thing that does kind of surprise me a little bit. Are uh, the Sixers being where they are? Mm. I guess again, we're mm. only two games into the season, but you know, I, I figure they'd be in a better spot than they are right now. That's just me. Yeah, and as a Sixers fan, it's disappointing that they're zero and two. Uh, they're saying that the and this is always an excuse for Embiid is that conditioning was an issue. He was supposedly injured. He's always hurt somehow. Supposedly he mm -hmm. was injured. He's not. He doesn't have good conditioning right now, so that could be a factor in that. But the fact is, they shouldn't be zero and two. They they're playing what I would expect at the end of the season to be probably a one, two, three, four seed team. And they in the uh, the Bucks and the Celtics, you can't lose those games because it just looks bad. Um, but one positive out of that is James Harden's back. He looks like James Harden. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yep. He sure does. I'm happy to see him back. And like you said, looking like James Harden again. Uh, air balls and all, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> and I will say, uh, I'll, I'll also say the Lakers are just going to Laker. So I fully expect them to not make the playoffs again. That mm -hmm. should not be a hot take at all. <laughs> uh, who is there? Are there figure it out, but I don't know, man. Like, it's so tough because they, I, I, fe I feel like. I feel like they are the, the NBA equivalent of the Cowboys, where like they have a lot of talent, <laughs> and they're too talented to be going, you know, five hundred every season. Like that's that's not what you expect from the Cowboys or Lakers. Yeah. So and, take that what you will. And I think this is what happens when you let the players or a player be your general manager, because we all know LeBron's calling the shots there, and it. Uh, when he wants to just he wants to bring in his friends and everything's great uh, that doesn't always work out sometimes you have to make yourself uncomfortable and do something that maybe you don't want to do I, I'll just use Kevin Durant as an example a couple years ago when he joined Golden State he most likely wasn't going to be even though he is as great of a player as he was he was going to have to learn how to take a back seat a little bit because you have Steph Curry, Clay Thompson, Dray, everybody there and yeah. he did and they won uh, obviously, the Lakers did win one a couple years ago in the bubble, which some people throw an asterisk there for the uh, the bubble. Ch I think it was the bubble championship, right? I believe it was. I have to double check, but I think it was the bubble one. But we're just going to erase that entire year, so that doesn't count. <laughs> <laughs> uh, are there any players that you're excited about this year? 
Um, off the top of my head, I mean, the, the, the first one for me that comes to mind is Zion Williamson because he's been so just unlucky uh, <laughs> to start his career. Yeah. I'm really hoping that he can turn it around and be the player that we kind of thought he was going to be when he got to the league. Um, that's one off the top of my head. The other one that comes to mind is obvious I, th- I i i think i have to also go go with Giannis as well um i know i know those are the two like bigger name players but Giannis is just another one of those who you know I, I i'll be honest with you i didn't know that he was in the league for as long as he was until <laughs> you know what was it was a couple of years ago when, when they won when they won, won the title i'm like he's been in the league that long that's crazy so <laughs> so yeah. for me that's another one who i'm looking forward to seeing if he can continue his rise in the league so to speak and um, uh, Bradley Beal on the Wizards just being by himself, being being by himself without John Wall. I know he's he's been without him for the past like year or so, but uh, just kind of hoping to see what what he can do with the team and if they can uh surprise me again and get to the playoff because I didn't <laughs> think they would get there when they had Westbrook. Yeah, uh, I was I, I'm like I'm like Westbrook is good. I had said Westbrook is a good player. But I don't know if he's going to be enough to get them to the playoffs. But, I mean, it happened. So, maybe Beal can uh, take some of that and will the Wizards to a, a playoff <laughs> burst somehow. Yeah. Even if it is one of the lower seeds, I don't care. Get to the playoffs somehow, please. <laughs> yeah. So, for me, I, I definitely – I, I want to say Giannis is probably the definition of hard work. And improving your game and growing your game. He is – every year he's just – he seems like he adds something like at some point he's got to stop getting better <laughs> but he might not right. but he might not yeah, he might not um but for me some players that i think that i'm i'm interested in seeing obviously i, I didn't know what james harden we were going to get and if he can keep up what he's doing now and not turn into 300 pound james harden because he's unhappy and wants to be traded i think the mm-hmm. sixers down the road uh this season they they're starting off rocky i think they're going to get it together um uh, Paolo for the Magic. Uh, he obviously we're only two games in, but he is averaging twenty three points a game. Uh, he has put up twenty seven and twenty. He had a double double in his second game. Uh, I I I didn't know what to. I never know what to expect from rookies. Period. Um, I typically don't expect much, but he's playing right. like an he's playing like a potential all star right now. And I'll just I'll be really interested to see what he can if he can keep it together for the rest of the year. And I guess for, for the last one, uh, probably I'll be interested. I'm looking forward to see what LeBron does only because I'm hoping that he falls apart. (laughs) (laughs) You are not a LeBron guy, are you? (laughs) No. And I, and I, people always, Oh, he's about to break the all time scoring record. He's better than Michael Jordan. It's like, he's played a lot longer than Michael Jordan has played. Um, and I just, I, I don't know. I just, there's, there's too much. He's one of those players where there's just too much hype. He's always in the news about something on the court, off the court. It doesn't matter. I just, I get tired of hearing about him. I can't wait for him to retire. So I can't wait for Bronny <laughs> to make it to the league so that we know that that's probably LeBron's last year. <laughs> but yeah. So well, anyway, all that talk, is there, do you have an NBA finals matchup? in your mind that you think is going to happen and who do you think is going to win it all? Ah, uh, man. Yeah. It's, it's way too early to tell right now, but if I had to pick like three from each, uh, conference, I would probably take the right now. Anyway, uh, the Celtics bucks and, um, maybe the Sixers, if they can get it together out of the East and then from the West, uh, I would like to see the Grizzlies go. They've mm-hmm. surprised yeah. me over the past couple of years. Um, I'd all, I, I would also like to see the Suns go back and maybe have that Buck Suns uh, rematch. That, that'd be kind of cool. Um, and then also the Warriors, because, you know, like, I feel like you've got to have them in there at some point. Yeah, they're one... the Warriors have to be in that, in that, in that title conversation. Yeah, they're one of those teams that, like, I don't know, like, yeah, people get tired of the same teams winning over and over again, but there's just nothing about them that I don't like. So it's like they don't have like a, like 
for the lack of a better word, a douchey. I don't feel like they really have a douchey player. People will say, <laughs> people will say Draymond Green, blah blah blah. I, I have no problem with He's Draymond fine, Green. Man. I have He's no problem fine. with him. So I'm not going to give three and three. I'm going to say what I think the NBA Finals matchup is going to be. <laughs> I think it's going to be Golden <laughs> State, and I think they're going to beat the Boston Celtics in the finals. Oh, um, okay. I just both teams. Man. Golden State just has too much talent to not to, to not make yeah. it to the like I I don't see I agree I I could not predict when their window is going to close because as long as they continue to retool behind their shooters then I, there's no reason why they can't keep winning championships for the next five to seven years and that's a long time but right you, you don't just forget how to shoot. One day, I mean, there are some people that do. Ben Simmons never learns, so we can't really <laughs> talk about that. Yeah. But, uh, but yeah, like Ray Allen was a great shooter. Period for the, his entire career, and I just Clay Thompson, Seth Curry, St Seth Curry, geez, Steph Curry. <laughs> they're just they're great shooters, and that's never going to go away. So again, as long as they retool around them, I say five to seven years, they still have to win them championships. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I think they'll, I think they'll be fine, and they'll definitely get back. Uh, that's the one team that I feel like will more than likely get back out of the ones that I mentioned. Yeah, for sure. From, from the West, anyway. Yeah, for sure. Well, let's 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 switch it up a little bit. Let's let's hop over yeah. to the NFL season. We're about a third of the way through. Uh, are there any teams that have been a surprise to you or a disappointment? Uh, uh, the Giants have been the biggest surprise for me. Honestly, yeah. just because like I I didn't I didn't think they'd be I, I don't know if I'm gonna call them good or just getting the right getting to the right place at the right time in terms of finding ways to win games. Yeah. Um. Uh, but I didn't expect them to be to have the record that they have. Yeah, I think they're all. five and one, four and one, five and oh no, they only have one I, loss. I, I'm pretty sure. I believe they're four and one at the moment. Uh, did not see that coming at all. Um, uh, I. I'm a big I'm a Penn State fan, so I'm a big Saquon yeah. Barkley fan, and as long as he stays healthy, he just adds such a dimension to the team that it's just I think they're a really hard offense to you can't account for everybody. Um but yeah, no, I definitely agree that they're one of the biggest surprises. I don't think anybody expected them to be here. Nobody expected them to be, I think, second in the NFC East. <laughs> but Yeah, right, exactly. Yeah, but like, what am I with Saquon Barkley? Because I, because you know, I'm yeah. also a big Saquon Barkley fan. I love, I love watching him play. But like, just like with Chris McCaffrey, you know, I'll talk about him in a second. But you know, he hasn't been healthy, and I'm glad that you know they're playing well, and I hope they can keep it up because I feel like he is one of the premier backs in the league when he is healthy and on the field. Absolutely. And another biggest surprise, I think, for me at least, comes out of the NFC. Still, is the Eagles being six and zero. Um, I just, yeah. I did not have a lot of faith in Jalen Hurts um, at all. I just, he wasn't, he's not your prototypical quarterback. He's, and he's really not even like, at least with Lamar, like sometimes you have to worry about his arm. For me, I never really worried about Hurts' arm. And I felt like, mm -hmm. I, I just didn't feel like he was going to be super successful or be able to lead a team to a 6 and a record or a 6 and right, start. Yeah. <laughs> But they definitely – they have so much talent on offense, it's not even funny. And it, Yeah, if, they're, they're if gonna... they can – go ahead. No, you go ahead. I was like, if, if, they, if they can continue to click like they are, you know, that's going to be a problem for a lot of teams, I think. Yeah. And I, I – the, proto, the prototypical quarterback days, I think those are coming to an end uh, in, in certain respects anyway. You're seeing a lot more guys – who can move around in the pocket, make plays happen, extend plays more uh, now than you did five, five, ten years ago. You know, sure, you know, you had your Brett Favre's of the world uh, who could move around a little bit, extend plays a little bit. You know, Steve Young could do it too, but not not to the ability of Lamar, Jalen, uh, even Josh Allen to an extent, you know. Yeah. Yeah, well, our, I guess uh, as a Vikings fan, the five and one start uh, is also a bit of a surprise to me. I'm not, I'm not surprised, and I am surprised. The talent's always there. We've never been able to put it together. 
Um, my expectation is that we're going to lose to the Eagles in the NFC Championship game. <laughs> <laughs> Just because we always lose in the NFC Championship game. So, uh, but yeah, I, I, I think for the Vikings, kind of like how you said with the Giants, like they're winning and they're in the right place at the right time. They're winning in such different ways. Um, whether it be the very first game where Justin Jefferson had about 3,000 receiving yards <laughs> <laughs> or our iron leg punter who flips the field on a 71 or a 73 yard punt last, last yeah. week. Um, they're a surprise team for me, but I, I don't know if they can keep it up. Be, they won't be able to keep it up in the playoffs. That's just how they are. It's historically <laughs> accurate that they're going to lose well, in the playoffs if they make it. <laughs> oh hey In man! Hopefully fashion. for your sake they can figure it out, man. Yeah. <laughs> Are there any teams that are have been a disappointment to you so far? Honestly, I gotta go with the Ravens first and foremost. Uh, as a Ravens fan, first I feel like this team is uh, they're, they're not what I was expecting them to be. Honestly, when I first. Uh, got to this point in the year, expecting them to be, to have a better record than they do right now. And, Still in first place you know, in, their, in the North. I mean, yeah, but like, <laughs> I feel like I I, I don't, I, I think they should have, a, they should have at least only one loss right now. Um, personally, but it is what it is. Uh, and it's, it's, it's so, it's so weird because, uh, you know, you have you have a guy like Namar who is trying to do a couple of things. He's trying to get paid, number one. Uh, and, you know, he's trying to, you know, not get injured and keep himself healthy and all that stuff to preserve his career for the long term and all of that. So it's, I don't know, man. I don't know. I think the entire AFC North has been a disappointment, to be honest. Uh, just from top to bottom, I always expect the Steelers to, to figure, figure it out. Um, I expected mm -hmm. uh, I expected Trubisky to be better because I don't take uh, any quarterback that plays for the Bears is going to suck. <laughs> <laughs> so I yeah, they're a mess of organization. Yeah, I figured once he got a chance somewhere else, he spent a little time behind Josh Allen. I figured him being the star in Pittsburgh was going to be a little bit different for him, but obviously he's been benched. Kenny Pickett's in, rookie. Cleveland Browns, I thought uh, Brissett was going to be able to keep them afloat until Deshaun Watson wasn't suspended anymore. Um, mm -hmm. I expected the Bengals, just because of Joe Burr, their offense, they got a young, fast offense, but, I mean, the offensive line is clearly still an issue. Uh, it just, yeah. like you said, the Ravens. Like, I didn't expect them to be 3-3. Three and three. I didn't expect Tampa Bay to be 3-3. Three and three. Um I didn't expect the Raiders to be one in four. Like there's just, there are so many <laughs> shocks right now that I, man, the whole season just seems like a disappointment for a lot of teams at this point. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. 100% um, yeah. agree. But uh, do you think any of those teams, do you think any of them could turn it around? I mean, obviously Baltimore is an easy, an easy one. Like they're in first place, but they still have one of the top quarterbacks in the league, so I think they can easily turn it around. What do you think? Yeah, I, I definitely think they can turn it around. I, I think that, and even with the injuries, that because it seems like injuries are always one of something that plagues the Ravens. I, I know I know it affects every team, obviously, but I feel like as a Ravens fan, I feel it a little more. I feel like it always impacts us more. That's probably just bias talking. Uh, but <laughs> but I feel like if they can get healthy at the right time and start to have you know. Uh, Dobbins comes comes back eventually when he gets back from the surgery and it's a couple all weeks that stuff. Out, yeah, yeah, a couple weeks out. Yeah, so I feel like they can turn it around. It's just a matter of when. Uh, but you know, because the thing with that too is you don't want to try to turn around too quickly, I guess, because you know once you get going, it's hard to stop. But at some at some point, you need to be stopped. I think if that makes sense. <laughs> before the playoffs, at least get your yeah. at least at least be stopped before the playoffs so you can get it out yeah, of your head. <laughs> right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Get 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 your one bad loss out before the playoffs happen and then go into the playoffs ready to go. Yeah, no, for sure. And I did want to throw one more that I, I wanted to make the biggest disappointment. I really thought that Baker Mayfield was gonna do something for Carolina. Um, I mm. I just I really thought <laughs> I mean he's not a bad quarterback he uh, he is a garbage 
I don't want to say he's a garbage person, but he just he's one of those players that I feel like he talks a lot for no reason, and he just digs he digs mm-hmm. himself into holes. Um, I think he's a good quarterback or was. Uh, I really thought that he would be able to do something with the talent that they had on offense, but he's clearly not been able to do anything, and I expect him not to be there next year. <laughs> and guess what? Sam Donaldson, he's not the guy either. Yeah, no. The other I, guy, the guy, he's also not the guy. <laughs> yeah, and no, and that was he was he was one too that I was like, you know what? Kind of like with the Bears, I'm like, man, you know, he played quarterback for the Jets. He's probably he, he's probably seventy five percent better than what he actually showed. <laughs> mm-hmm. And obviously, wrong there, wrong on Baker. I mean, I just Baker's yeah. going to be one of those players. I think he'll be out in a couple years just because his mouth. People aren't going to want to bring him in. <laughs> yeah, and it, it, it's it's a shame too because you know the the crazy thing about that whole situation is the fact that I believe they traded to get both of those guys, both Sam and Baker. Yeah, if I remember right, they did. Yeah, I believe so. So like to, to trade to trade to get both of them and have neither of them work out is just insane to me. Yeah, for sure. Um, yeah, well, enough NFL talk, but let's stick with football, college football. Where again, I think we're about. I don't want to say we're not quite halfway, but we're pretty much halfway through the college football season. Uh, do you think has there been a clear top four for you, or is it still up in the air? I think it's still up in the air, honestly. After what Tennessee did to Bama last weekend, like uh, I still think I still think the whole thing is up in the air. In all honesty, um, I just don't I don't see a clear top four yet. And even even when it gets to playoff time, like there's still going to be that discussion of the top four and who's the best. It, it, it always happens, especially, especially with college sports. Always happens like that because of the parody of, of the parody nature of the sport. You know, I'd say there's not a <laughs> college basketball for sure. College football, uh, Alabama could be zero and thirteen. And they're still going to find a way to put them in the uh, in the college <laughs> play. <laughs> um, well, if you had to pick, who do you think, if the season ended today, who do you think would be the first four in? The only four in. <laughs> well, um, if you give me a minute, I can go look up the top 25, and then we can act, I can actually do it right now. Well, give me so, one second. So if right now the top four teams are Ohio State, Michigan, Georgia, and Tennessee. Um, okay, yeah. I All think right, so... I think there's a clear top three, and I, 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 it, that hurts me to say because I'm putting, Michigan, <laughs> I'm putting Michigan in that, and I really feel like they're going to find a way, like they usually do, to mm-hmm. – just, they're going to fall squander apart. It somehow. Yep, they're going to squander it. Um, it doesn't hurt me to say that. It hurts me to put them in the top three. <laughs> um, <laughs> right. Ohio, right. I, Ohio State, Michigan, and Georgia, I think, for me right now, are the clear top three. That four spot is the one that's up in the air. If the season ended yeah. today, even though Tennessee just beat Alabama, I guarantee you the playoffs would be Ohio State, Michigan, Georgia, and Alabama. <laughs> that they, is, they, they would still yeah, get in somehow they would still get in somehow and that is why for me if i had to pick a championship game right now i'd have georgia and alabama in it and that is either a two loss alabama team or a one loss georgia team because they lost to alabama in the sec championship or mm-hmm. whatever either and no matter what i think georgia and alabama are getting into the both getting into the playoffs even with alabama having lost already this season because the voters are just they're gonna put them in <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> so i i think for me again I'm, I'm gonna go off the top four the top four that's here right now georgia ohio state tennessee and michigan i'll take those top four and i'll give you a game from them uh i think it will be cool to see uh Tennessee and Tennessee and uh Michigan in that game. Ew, ew, ew. <laughs> I think it'd be cool. Thanks now, for listening, now, folks. Now also, That's the end of the episode. <laughs> <laughs> and also part of that too is because um one I, so one, I like both of both those teams' fight songs. Uh, for me, college sports is weird, and we can say that for another episode, and my reason for liking certain teams, um, but, uh, I like, I think Tennessee-Michigan will, 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 be, will be a fun game, and I would pick, uh, Michigan to win it, because, uh, my uncle went to Michigan, and, uh, yeah. Tell him I'm sorry, tell, tell, <laughs> so, him, tell him that I'm sorry that. for him. 
<laughs> I so my my struggle with Tennessee is Tennessee. <laughs> Tennessee <Understandable>. just <laughs> every single year, just like USC, just like Penn State, this is the year that they're going to get back on track. This is the year as a Penn State fan every year. This is the year. This is the year. Mm-hmm. And every this could be the start of a couple years ago. I say a couple years ago, a few years ago, um, Penn State had a really bad loss to Michigan at early in the season, and that led them to the uh, Big Ten Championship. So uh, while we did get destroyed by Michigan, there's still a chance that we can fix it, but we still have to right. play Ohio State. Um, there's a ton of trap games because the Big Ten is just a big trap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um but yeah, no, the, Tennessee is just, again one of those t- teams that is just are they are they really here? And right, yeah, I, 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 I would I would love for them to win the championship. To be honest, uh, just because that would be different. It, it's mm-hmm. I mean Alabama's won the last three hundred and twenty four uh, championships. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. So just something different would be nice. Something different, man. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> well, well, let's start to let, let's let's reel it back a little bit. I know you're you're a little bit of a baseball fan, or at least you pretend to be. I think <laughs> Our, <laughs> baseball is my favorite sport. So yeah, <laughs> um, we're really winding down that season. Uh, we're in the the championship games for the NL and the AL. Uh, are there any at this point? Uh, are there any surprises for you right now? We'll, we'll keep in mind that at this point it is. Saturday afternoon, and there's still some games to be played. But what we're looking at right now, what's what's surprising? Honestly, I think the m- my biggest surprise is just the the Dodgers being out. Yeah, and I, and I guess for me, it's just because just like just like the Cowboys and just like the Lakers, like they have too much talent to get to the playoffs, and then like not do anything. Now, granted, granted, you know they were successful last year. Uh, but still, that's always a surprise for me to see the, uh, World Series champions knocked out, you know, and all that. It's just, yeah. you know, <laughs> yeah, always a big surprise for me. Yeah. No, I mean, it's a big surprise when the number one seed gets knocked out. Um, I mean, the Padres, they're on a little bit of a run right now, uh, with the one number one seed being knocked out and the other number one seed currently being two and O, um, do you? What are your thoughts on the championship? I mean, again, Houston's up on the Yankees. Uh, Philly's up right now. Do you, Do you have any thoughts on the championship? The world. I, oh, sorry, the World Series. Yeah, World <laughs> Series. Yeah. <laughs> I would like, honestly, I would like to see the Astros and the Phillies. Yeah. Uh, like to see those two get to it. And I would like to see the Phillies win it. Yeah, uh, I'm not. I'm not. I want to make it clear. I'm not an Astros hater at all. Uh, I know they they have things going on and scandals around them and everything. Like I get it. Scandalous. I'm a, but I'm not. I'm not. I'm not one of those. I'm not one of those people uh, who cares about this too much because uh, I feel like that's the nature of the game. So I think if you can figure it out, you figured it out. You didn't steal anything. You figured it out. <laughs> uh, make your make your signs better. Personally, uh, it's just yeah. me. Uh, but I, I like to see the Phillies win it, um, just because it's been a while for them, and that would be fun and different to see a different World Series champion. Yeah, and I think for me, like the the whole trash can thing, I I just not a big deal to me. There is just not that big of a deal. Um, I, I I guess that we're be... doing worse playing playing little league baseball. All right, like <laughs> come <laughs> on, man. We out here we're out here chanting from the dugout while playing while playing you know nine ten rec baseball, and y'all talking about trash cans in the dugout. Like relax. <laughs> um, going too much, bro. I think for me uh, right now, I would love for Philly to win. I do. I like Bryce Harper. Um, I do too. Thank you. <laughs> I like Bryce. I like Bryce Harper. I, I have no issues with him. Um, it would just. It would be nice for Philly to do something. I mean, they. They're really nothing good has happened for them since Ryan Howard. Um, <laughs> Ryan Howard, man, what a guy. Yeah. Um, I. What's surprising to me is the Padres 
having this little run that they're having, not having their best player. Uh, I can't say not having their best player. There's a couple players on their team that you can consider their best player. Um, Soto. But I think if if you're going to talk about the best player on their team, I think Tatis is Tati Jr. is the uh, 1A, if that makes sense. Yeah. It, had I they, think you were going to mention Soto a second ago. Had they not traded for Soto, um, it, it would be it would be Tatis, period. He, it would be him, period, without a doubt, it would be him. But with them having him, yeah, it's a 1A, 1B situation. But the fact that they are, they're doing this without him, um, don't do steroids, guys. Uh, the fact that they're doing this without him, it's just, it's... It's nice. I, I don't think I would not hate for any team outside of the Yankees to win the championship this year. Um, yeah, I, yeah, honestly, yeah. <laughs> so I'm really hoping Houston can can keep their two and O lead, turn it into that three and O lead, uh, and just and just beat the Yankees. Uh, and that's yeah, but exactly. Kind of beat the Yankees is all I want. Yeah, beat the Yankees. But let's final question: Who would your MVP now? If the season is pretty much done do you mm -hmm. have who would who would you have picked for mvp of the baseball season ah uh, man <laughs> so so look oh look there there's talk of you know between shohei and aaron judge and that is a valid conversation to have um and, i think it's i think it's an easy call i think it's an easy answer <laughs> and you know, wh while while I feel like what Aaron Judge and I I, ha I have flip flopped on this in the past couple of weeks thinking about it, while I do really enjoy what Aaron Judge is doing and all that stuff with the home run home run chase and all that. By the way, Barry Bonds still the home run count. Or anybody says, um, <laughs> I'm going to have to pick Shohei Otani just because of the simple fact of he does both. And he does them both very well. And I think that if, if you want to talk about the most valuable player on a team, if you have a guy who can both hit and pitch with the success that that Otani has, I think that that is a clear difference maker on your team. That's my personal opinion. On it. Absolutely. Uh, that is a clear difference maker on a team. However, if you, that player can't make the playoffs for their team if they if that player can't elevate their team to the playoffs i don't think they can be in the conversation for mvp and that's why and i think judge is a clear cut the clear cut mvp this year okay and, and, and I, now i will personally disagree with you on that bit as far as being able to elevate a player of uh, being elevate your team to that level uh just because of the nature of baseball as a sport i feel like it's very difficult for one player to dominate in that fashion and have that kind of impact on a team because they're not playing every day. All LeBron's playing every day, eh, you know. Yeah, I guess. Uh, Otani, <laughs> as a as a pitcher, you pitch. You might you pitch once, and then you and then you're gone for a little while. You while you rest, unless you show hey, and you go and you play as a batter on DH or something like that. Uh, but even then, like, you're not doing it every day. Uh, so I, I think that it's more difficult to have that conversation uh, in that regard when it comes to baseball. Just got to make the playoffs. <laughs> <laughs> got to make the playoffs. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. Look, no, no shade, man. No shade. <laughs> well, B-Ron... I appreciate you hopping on and filling in for Eric this week. Is there anything that you would want to want to tell the people or is there anything you want to say? Uh, look, man, y'all be good to each other. It's crazy out here. Just be good to each other. All right. Everybody got things going on. Be nice. Be kind. Drink your water. Take care of your mental health. And uh, that's it, man. That's it. I appreciate everybody listening today. I hope you guys have a good rest of your weekend. Later, folks.